Good morning, everybody. And compliments to Franchise India for this Entrepreneur India 2011 conclave. First of all, I would like to give my introduction that I am not an intelligentsia like you. I am an entrepreneur, but going back to 1960s. I am not modern. I don't know the technology. I am not graduate from Harvard. I am not from Oxford. I am not from Cambridge. I just give you my small introduction that I just graduated from Delhi University as an ordinary graduate after studying in a school called DAV Higher Secondary School in Chitralupta Road by paying 25 paisa fees per month. 25 paisa fees, uh, sorry, my Hindi English is mixed raegi because I cannot speak fully. Meri 25 paisa fees. DAV Higher Secondary School ke andar, vahan padhai kari tent ke andar, aur vahan se entrepreneurship sikhi. So today I'll give you a little background of my life, relating to entrepreneurship. But that school I'm very proud of, because that DAV Higher Secondary School produced the first president of India, that Dr. Rajendra Prashad in India. Passing my school from there, I joined Delhi University, and joined Dyal Singh College, and became the president of Dyal Singh College Students Union in 1963. I had about 800 girls and 600 boys, so 1,400 students were there, and I was one of the president, first president of the college. I was born in Amritsar, and I was only three years old. I remember the whole city was burning when the Indo-Pak war started. My father brought me to Delhi, and we, had a, we left everything in Amritsar. We came with nothing except a, a bag of clothes here to New Delhi and I have my education in Delhi. Then my father got into a stationery business, into a stationery shop. And one day, when I was about 11 years old, that, like the lady said, so we, I went to the shop, and the Muslim people were going away from Delhi, rushing to Pakistan. So one Muslim guy, I was with my father standing there as a young boy, 11 years, and he asked somebody that I want to buy a shop here. He said, please put the finger on the shop and you get the shop. And suddenly he said, this shop is okay where we were standing. He said, all right, give, give 15,000 rupees and you get the shop. So he gave 15,000 rupees to my father. But my father was not very educated. He's still 92 years, but he was a wealthy man in, the, in his age and he's a wealthy man today also. But he took the shop. I said, daddy, why not to take this shop where we were standing? And he, we gave only 15,000 rupees him and got the shop. Shop was 80 feet deep into it. And next day we came, there was no electricity. So when we took out the whole shop, it was a stationary shop, and Muslim were running away from Delhi. Who shop to upar gaddi lagai, gaddi laga ke jo mal pada tha uske andar stationary ka usko bechna shuru kiya. To three days mein humne about 95,000 rupees cash kar liye. 15,000 ki dukaan thi thi, 95,000 pe three days mein ho gaya, 80,000 profit ho gaya. Uske baad when I went inside with a with a just a, with a torch uh, with a candlelight, to andar ja ke dekha ke mombatti jaga ke ke ek draws ke andar mera haath laga to baat se pens gir rahe the. So I saw the pens. I saw when came out, I saw these are Parker pens. And that Muslim guy was importing Parker pens from somewhere. And I saw those Parker pens. So I saw what Parker pen is. We were kids, 11 years old. So I said, this is a great name of Parker pen. I have to bring Parker pen in India. So I said, no, no, this is a very wealthy company, wealthy family, rich company. How can we afford it? We came from Pakistan, nothing. Just starting career, boy reading. But I made my mind that one day I must bring Parker pen, and God willing that I brought the Parker pen in 92. And today we are the largest manufacturer of Parker pen among the five factories in the world. Today our export business is uh, nearly 35% and domestic business is about 65%. And we have our uh, operations in uh, UK, France, uh, Australia and Moscow. We produce nearly 2 million pens a day. 2.5 million pens a day, and we have seven manufacturing plants, employs more, th more than 2,000 employees. It was only two employees in the beginning, now it's 2,000 employees. I used to make 1,000 pens, today I make more than 2.5 million pens, and this is what a feeling of an entrepreneur is before you. Then I thought that, okay, now IT came in, biotechnology came in, what is next in this universe? Oh, nanotechnology. What is nanotechnology? I started reading nanotechnology, understanding this, that by 2020, 65% of the consumer world products would be based on nanotechnology and it will be a $3 trillion market worldwide. 
So I went into nanotechnology, and probably by next three months, we are going to launch nanotechnology in the area of surface cleaning and impregnation, which will be first in India and some formulation first time in the world from an Indian entrepreneur. Now, question is how to make a successful enterprise? You need confidence. You need confidence. The question is how confidence? Everybody says I, am, I have confidence, but he does not have in reality a confidence. How to have a confidence? Confidence without humility is arrogance. Please understand, young people, confidence without humility is arrogance. And confidence with humility makes you a successful entrepreneur. 